Well, I was tying up my tobacco plants this morning, and I noticed that one of my little uh, sweet million cherry tomatoes had a critter crawling in it. It's, uh, compared to the size of that dime, it's about the length of the liberty on the dime. I don't see a hook. I see stripes. I, it might be a juvenile horn worm, or it might be another worm. Uh... I don't even know if I have a magnifying glass down there to see what it looks like. I, I don't see a hook, but I don't know if they uh, have a hook at this stage. But that's how tiny they are, and you know they're hard to find when they're two or three inches long. I bet when eight or ten of them could sit on a dime. You got to keep looking. Well, at least these haven't been in the ground for even a week yet. And on the other end, you can see a lot of beans up. And if you really stare, you can see some corn up. Corn is one of the fastest growing things you'll ever plant in your garden. That's why it needs a little boost of nitrogen from time to time because it uses a lot of energy to get six, seven feet tall and grow several thousand seeds of stalk. I don't know how many, has anybody ever counted how many uh, kernels is on a ear of corn? It's good payback back two ears for one seed. Plus you get a whole lot of stuff to put in your compost pile. Well the beans are flowering. Won't be long before we'll be uh, picking and freezing and eating fresh beans. Nothing like fresh beans. Some of my tomatoes are starting to show a little color. I don't know how many's on that, uh, I'd say it's 25 of those salad tomatoes on that one plant. And my cherry tomatoes are starting to show a little color. We usually get a cherry tomato by the 4th of July. I think this year we're going to get it in about another three days. But you can see a few red ones on it. Sweet millions are setting nice clusters. That's how you get 300 plus plants, uh, tomatoes per plant. The clusters of tomatoes are setting good on these sacrificial two better boys we put out. Uh, there's about a dozen on this plant. Considering we don't see a lot of pollinators, Here's the other one. Come back up through here. It's setting up in the top. That's how you get 35 or 40 better boys off a plant. These salad tomatoes are setting. They're about the biggest they're gonna get. You can see them turning. We'll have a ripe one probably in about eight or ten days. That's how you get a hundred or more on a plant. This one probably has, I don't know, twenty maybe. That one there showing color at the bottom on a cluster. Has several clusters on them. You get 13 plants to get a hundred or more tomatoes to plant. That's 1,300 salad tomatoes. More than the two of us could eat. Here's another salad tomato. Plants have only been in the ground about 33 days. All those on one little bushy old plant, and it's uh, got a long way to grow, and a lot of months to produce. This is their biggest butter boy, and you can see it's turning. The cantaloupes are uh, definitely putting out runners. A lot of flowers, a lot of female flowers, and. It'll set before long. Here's the watermelon. They're putting out runners. 
and starting to flower. We're still probably two weeks away from picking a cucumber. But they're getting up the fence. They'll get all the way up the top and go all the way over and back down the other side. And we'll get five or six uh, cukes of the large ones off each plant. There's a lot of them in there. And of the little ones uh, that grow maybe, oh, four inches long, uh, we'll get probably five, six hundred of those. I think, uh, I think I've been neglecting my blueberries because it's been awful dry. We haven't had any rain in a couple weeks. We might have gotten an eighth of an inch the other night. <coughs> There's no size to them. You can see that one blue one? That's the size they all ought to be. It's about the size of my fingernail. I'm going to put the sprinkle on it because it, uh, they're just not swelling up. And it might just be that they're too dry. And they're not getting enough moisture because see the, they got some discoloration on them. There and right there is not healthy blueberries. Some of them are turning, starting to turn color, but they are way undersized. It takes 20, 30 minutes of watering with this sprinkler. These old sprinklers here are how old is Methuselah? I think they're better homes than gardens. Yep. And they, uh, you can multi uh, change them to any direction you want them to go. And uh, we hang them up in the uh, boat house there behind it. And uh, never had to do anything to them. Might change the washer in there, the hose washer every now and then. But they, uh, Pretty good sprinkler. You can uh, I can sprinkle one end of my garden to the other where the corn and the beans are. Anyway, it's going to make these thirsty plants maybe swell up a little bit and at least get some uh, blueberries this year.